<laughs> but here's the truth. Soda does a lot of deleterious things to your health. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, that's, that's a so 50 cent word. So let's look at bad. what, actually 51 cents, but uh, okay. just kidding. Let's look at what soda does to your bones. <laughs> You're cheating. All right, so here, here's the reality of soda. We're not entirely sure why it can lead to bone loss. Some people surmise it's the phosphoric acid and that it actually ends up leaching calcium from your bones. For kids, a lot of times, if you're drinking soda, what does that mean you're not drinking? You're not drinking milk with exactly. calcium in it, which is great for kids growing bones. So it could be numerous factors, but we do know that drinking too much soda can potentially lead to bone loss, and this particularly becomes salient as you get older in life, right. if you develop mm -hmm. osteoporosis well, and fractures. What about not banning soda, but putting milk back into school? You know why we can't ban soda? It's great for cleaning car batteries. This is what soda will do to a corroded battery. I never drink soda. <laughs> you see that? Wow. It just literally it just dissolves away all of that icky white oh, stuff. Whatever. It's, a, it's a solvent. So sometimes you have to remind yourself, if you can do that to a battery, what's it doing to your stomach? You see what it does to a penny? A dirty penny. Yeah. Yeah. I would but, ban it. From kids, mm -hmm. at the very least, like we don't give them vodka tonics. We don't. There are things that are extremely yeah. dangerous to their health. It's our job to protect them. It's beyond the obesity factor. It's hazardous on so many different speaking levels. Speaking of the obesity factor, just you know, there's a Harvard study showing just just for every soda you drink a day, you double your risk of obesity. So if you have one soda, you're double. If you have two sodas a day, quadruple. And that, I mean, so that's what, a so, so I think we all agree soda should be limited. There's some controversy. If it's banned, is it going to pique curiosity more? I don't know. But, but Dr. Sears, if you're going to occasionally allow your child a soda, what is the absolute latest or earliest age youngest, you can even consider age. it? Man, I would say under five, you're just stupid if you're giving your kids soda. But so the best overflow. thing to do is use alternatives. I'm telling you, you can take seltzer water, put a bunch of fruit in it, oranges, mm -hmm. lemons, limes, yeah. and let kids learn how real fruit tastes. Yes. And over time, they'll develop a taste for that rather than soda, which leads to obesity, diabetes, cavities, bone loss. This does not sound like fun.